Yo, what did you two boy another for killing another fool, aka we not finna get into that man. And this is gonna be the game. Uh, I think it's gonna be like week 14 it is. I'm playing against the Miami Dolphins, playing against Kyle Hot, who I talked about in my last video when I played the Bills. Um, my software wasn't looking good, you know. What I mean, the gameplay wasn't looking good, it was lagging and stuff like that, and my camera wasn't on par, man. So I'm going to basically be talking over this gameplay for right now, man. But like I said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on the video, man. I'm going to make sure to have that corrected for next time. But yeah, I know, yeah, I know who it is. Let's go straight into the gameplay. Yeah. Having flashbacks of a shoot, I hit a nigga up in flat. All right, man. So we week 14. I was playing against Kyle. Uh, I spoke about Kyle a little bit when I'm... Um, Bills gameplay, and I played Kyle twice last year. I played him once in the regular season, excuse me, and once in the wild card. Both of those games are in uh, my aftermath league playlist if you are interested in watching those games. But I was just looking over his team, and his team, like, I didn't, really didn't see anybody who was really that much of a threat to me. Um, I saw he had Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is somebody we're gonna have to watch out for with that X factor that he got. But he got a lot of speed at wide receiver, a lot of young guys out there. But he got James Winston at QB, so I don't, I don't, I don't fear James Winston. I feel like the biggest strength on his team though is his defensive line with Aaron Donald and um, Jason Taylor as his Miami's legend. But he got Kyle Van Noy on the line, and Kyle Van Noy is more of a fourth year outside linebacker than he is a defensive end. So I feel like that'd be kind of interesting. My mindset going into the game though is definitely trying to keep the ball on the ground, uh, trying to run with Marlon Mack and, and Kareem Hunt, you know what I mean, as much as I possibly can. And don't put Lampman in them situations where he has to throw for like 200, 300 yards, you know what I mean, and, and kind of throw us to keep us in the game. Right here, we ran the ball first play. Second play, we're going to hit him underneath. Um, had two drags and that, uh, that delayed kind of curl by the running back. And this game was honestly a very interesting one because after that loss I had against the Bills, you know what I mean, I'm kind of looking for a quarterback. Um, either gonna have to trade for one, or I'm gonna have to draft one in a draft that hopefully has star better potential, man. Because Lantman, he 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 isn't the answer. You know what I mean? I definitely say he's a first round bust uh, for my team right now because I don't think he's gonna be the guy that can push us to that next level of winning another uh, Super Bowl in the league. Just off the fact that he can't make he can't make the throws I need him to make. Like there was one throw. Um, that we had last week where it was fourth and one. Uh, Chark is going on the slant wide open and he he completely misses the throw. You know what I mean? That's 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 not what that's not what you have at your franchise quarterback. You know what I mean? Your franchise quarterback needs to be able to clutch up when he needs to clutch up. Um, we end up scoring in our first job. And this he this dude Kyle ain't got no reads, man. And, and the thing about Kyle, Kyle switches up his offense so much. Like there'll be one game when he's like real one heavy, then the next game he'll be pass heavy. That's right there, bro. I don't, I don't know what's up with CJ Henderson, man. CJ Henderson just be selling, but he switches up his, he switches up his game plan so often, man. But after a while, he starts to show his hand, and I can kind of uh, see what plays he likes to run more than others, as he just throws it up right there, man. And that's Marcus Williams. There's a reason we get that man, Marcus Williams, 33 million a year, just so he can go out there and make them plays. And we're going to get a little jiggy on it with Mark. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought we were going to take it home with Marcus Williams. But we're going to get the ball back. Uh, 25 seconds left in the first, man. we still going to keep the ball on the ground. You know what I mean? I was liking this stretch at this um, iPhone close flex. I was liking that stretch a lot. And they got a nice little uh, HB blast play out there as well. Right here, we're going to open up the pass a little bit. And I saw that he was running a lot of cover three and uh, cover four. And he brought down his safety. Man, I guess he brought his safety down too much to where he wasn't able to play over top. And we got DJ Chart to play, um, get a nice little play for the touchdown. Now it's 14-0, and he hits me with a stretch of his own with Nick Chubb getting a stiff arm on my cornerback. And he's driving down the field now. And he had this formation. Uh, this formation is kind of like a, I don't know if it's goal line or if it's like a like a wing formation. But basically, all he will want to do out of it is either do a stretch or he's going to do a power row. So that's one of the things I had to pick up on in the game was like, you know what I mean? This this is kind of what he want to do. Right here, fourth down, man. Again, CJ Henderson just sells on me once again. His tight end warps to the ball, and he's able to get a touchdown, man. And that's kind of that's kind of the fluke John Ivy talking about, you know what I mean? All right here, he's running cover three. Um, he has everybody in coverage, but I'm not really worried about it. I just got to sit there and wait on my read. And we hit Chanel over the middle of the field and call out a timeout. 
Uh, 30 seconds left in the second quarter. I'm trying to, you know what I mean, at least get three. Um, when it's fourth down, I run it inside zone with Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt, he's just so strong. Kareem Hunt got like 82, 83 strength. You know what I mean? I, when he needs to pick up some short yardage games, he's more than likely going to be able to do it. And this right here is what I'm talking about with Gary Lamp. You know what I mean? A slant play. That, that wide receiver is wide open, man. He cannot make the throw. So after that, we end up taking the sack, and we're not able to put up any points. And we're going into the third quarter, and right here, he's going back to the stretch. And now, honestly, I have my run defense set up, but one adjustment I had to do was move Josh Allen from the outside to the inside because he has a lot of those run abilities with inside zone stuff. And, um... The, the other run ability, run stop and stuff like that. He plays really good against uh, stretch and inside zones. Right there, another play where my guys are in position, but we just can't make a play on the ball. And that was kind of the theme of the game, bro. Like, I had guys in position, and they just don't make plays on the ball. And I don't know if it's if I'm not putting them in the right position. You know what I mean? Maybe I got to go out and draft certain people. Like right here, my slot corner is supposed to be on the purple. But for some reason, he still stays in the seam route. So I, I don't know. I, I don't get it at times. But now it's a 14-14 game, uh, minute 46 left in the, in the third. And we just going, like I said, we're going to stick to our game plan of running the ball, getting that tough yard, you know what I mean, and just driving. Right here, try to hit him with a screen. This is probably the first screen I've ran all year, honestly. I haven't really been running the screen a whole lot, but wasn't able to come up with nothing right there. And we try to run the ball again. I try to catch him off guard because I'm thinking that he's going to expect the pass, but we're not able to do that as well. And we are forced to punt the ball. Starting off the fourth quarter, you know what I mean? I, I already know what to pretty much expect. He's going to want to run the ball as we're right there. We stop Nick Chubb in the backfield. He wants to run the ball, and he's more than likely just, you know what I mean, going to throw up a read. But sooner or later, he's one of those guys, after sooner or later, he's just going to make, make a bad read, and I'm going to get a pick right there. I'm thinking that's going to be the pick that we're supposed to get. But, I mean, I guess Jameis Winston is <laughs> playing like he's playing at Florida State. Uh, right here, he goes back to the stretch, man, but we're ready for it. Like, from now on, I'm not really giving him nothing on the run. You know what I mean? I want him to force a throw. And now he in his goal line, power roll. You know what I mean? He, he He's he's starting to show his tendencies now. He's starting to show him that he's going, when he comes on certain formations, he's going to do certain plays. Right here, I'm expecting an out route on the right side. Same play he scored on. This time, I'm manning up that wide, that wide receiver and we're pass committing. And everything is covered. You know what I mean? Everything, everything is covered. You know what I mean? You show your tendencies. I'm going to pick up on it a little bit. You know what I mean? It may not be the first time, but you run it two or three times. And I mean, I'm going I'm to figure out what you want to run. Right here, we're just going to run the ball. And again, we're having no success running the ball at all. Come on to five wide. It's third and four. He's playing his zones down, but not down to a point to where I can't throw over him. So I decided to just, again, take the underneath. Fourth and two. This is a big conversion. If we pick this up, you know what I mean? We can continue to run the clock, but if we don't, it's more than likely going to be game because he can run the clock out. We try to roll out. His guy gets a nice release off the edge, but we're able to hit R1 in the flat. Uh, he was kind of hesitant to play that flat route because I had a slant coming over from the left to the right. And you know what I mean? We're going to keep the clock running. Running it with uh, Kareem Hunt. You know what I mean? I'm trying to take... He has two timeouts left, and he has a two-minute warning, so I'm trying to take away his timeouts. You know what I mean? Just trying to keep that keep the clock running um right here we go to a nice little underneath play i hit chart and he's gonna waste his last time out now right here i mean i'm going back i'm gonna go back to the screen because i know it's gonna be a good play call for me to call and bro i don't you know manages I, I don't understand that it's um man why do i throw it and it hits the back of my offensive line's helmet I, I don't know man but we're forced to take our three you know what i mean focus kick at josh lamb but he's not gonna miss many and we're gonna go back to the same defense we were running because i feel like i locked him up pretty well uh with the man's own uh combination right here and he doesn't go to the same play but it's kind of the same play out where he has crossing routes and whatnot and james like i told you like i told you earlier he, when he throw the ball up, he's going he's gonna to make that mistake. And I just got to force him to make that mistake. And that's honestly going to be the game with a minute 32 left. He has zero timeout, so I just ended up running out the ball. Next week, we play the Seattle Seahawks week 15. You know what I mean? Um, Seahawks is a good player. Name is R.P. Pat Tim, you know what I mean? R.P. that was Pat Tim. But he's a pretty good player. Um, I played him a lot last week. I mean, not last week, but last year in the league. Um, me and him had a couple battles here and there going back and forth he has russell wilson you know i mean he has dk metcalf he, again he has the stock seattle seahawks team because i think he's a seattle seahawks fan so again we're gonna try to stay to our scheme i may leave the los angeles Chargers playbook and go more towards 
the Raiders because if you watch my streams or watch my earlier videos, I run a lot of the Raiders playbook. So I think I may go back to that um, as we make this playoff push, um, going to something that I'm more comfortable in. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe on the video, man. Um, like I said, I wasn't able to do the live gameplay like I do on majority of my videos because my software wasn't how I wanted it to be. But I got all that situated. We're going to have that up and running for next week. And I appreciate y'all, boys. Your boy 904, and I'm out. Peace. Uh, would you? Uh, could you? Uh, could you? Uh, could you? Uh,